Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video on adding Google Analytics into your funnel inside of ClickFunnels. Hi guys, this is one of almost six plus hours of videos I've added in my Ultimate Guide to ClickFunnels course. In the course, I cover everything you ever thought you wanted to know about ClickFunnels, including an introduction to ClickFunnels, the ClickFunnels layout, including funnel editor and email editor, any integration you would ever want or need to use with ClickFunnels, from payment processors to autoresponders to analytics to the Facebook ad pixel. Plus, I also cover the 22 different funnels that exist that could be giving your business the foundation it needs to succeed. And I cover exactly how ClickFunnels fits into your business. And any course about ClickFunnels couldn't be complete unless it covered how to use other people's products to do affiliate marketing with ClickFunnels. I sell this course for $197 on cfultimateguide.com slash ultimate guide to ClickFunnels course, but you can see how you can get this course valued at $197 for free when you sign up for ClickFunnels today by visiting cfultimateguide.com slash free 14 day trial or by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. Thanks everyone, and good luck with your funnel and marketing efforts in your business. So let's navigate to one of our funnels, and in particular, I'm gonna navigate to this funnel, in, uh, and it's called Which Funnel from whichfunnel.com. So I'm gonna find that here in my list of funnels, and I'm going to head there, and it's really simple to add analytics you have to go to Google Analytics and you have to create a property if you have not already created one. And then you grab the information here, your, uh, your tag, your Google tag. And um, it's basically just a uh, HTML tag that is a script tag. And um, it tells us very specifically, just add this to as the first item into the head of every web page you wanna track. Well, the guys at ClickFunnels know that, and uh, they have given us the space to add our tracking to this particular funnel. So I'm gonna grab my information. I just showed it to you, and I copied and pasted it somewhere else so I could grab it really quick. So uh, I simply go to, for this funnel, I simply go to the settings page for the funnel, and then I click uh, and paste my uh, track my Google Analytics tracking information okay so here it is here and then after that's added we just scroll down to the bottom and click save and update settings and that's it that's as simple as it is to add your Google Analytics tracking now if you want to get more specific Google Analytics allows you to track specific events and um, you can tr you can uh, pass Google Analytics specific events. And the way that you would do that is, um, I, I think that most people probably aren't gonna cover this because it gets pretty technical, but um, I wanted to cover it because I wanted to make sure I, I gave you a full picture. So if you wanted to do more tracking for a particular page within your funnel, you go to settings, you open up that page, you, you go to settings for that particular page, and then you go to tracking code and you add your tracking code here. There's a header and a footer option. So if you wanted to say, you know, somebody came to the website, this was a page view, or somebody uh, went to the cart page, they are initiating a checkout. And then uh, if you wanted to say somebody actually purchased, then you can do that through each step of the funnel. And uh, you can just go into the funnel page and then add the specific code. Now that's not this code right here, but um, there's more reading you can do in order to add that. But I just wanted to make sure that we included it. All you have to do though, the, in the most simple format, is add the analytics code that I just showed you. You go to settings, you drop it in the head, uh, in the head section, the head tracking code. Again, we'll just hit that real quick. I'll show that to you. Drop it here and then hit save. And then now we're gonna go ahead and um, see right here, uh, receiving traffic in the past 48 hours, one active users right now. And I can see this coming through. This was me. I literally just added this and I refreshed the page. So um, let's hit send test traffic and see if we can update the at number of active users. So there it is. There's uh, two active users. That's the Google Analytics uh, test traffic. So uh, we've confirmed our Google Analytics is set up correctly. 
All you had to do was add it to settings. If you want to get more specific, you can. You just go into each page of the funnel and add the very specific tracking code. And um, there's places that you can go online that tell you where you have to go to in order to set that up. And you can probably do a quick search on YouTube or Google for the more specific analytics tracking code to track specific events. So that's it on adding Google Analytics to your funnel. Hope that was helpful, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video.